Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. This could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure you check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. All right. Your energy, your person's energy was between you. Okay. What is, there's been like this um, similar theme kind of happening, I feel like, with the readings lately, where it feels like there's been mis miscommunications, like endings, losses, regrets, and then there, there's like this partner that just like wants to reconcile things. And you're not certain, you know, of what's going to happen. That's what I feel like here, Five of Cups. Like, you're sad. You're missing this person. You're feeling distant from them. You know, um, should have, would have, could have. If I could just go back in time, maybe things would be different. Is this person thinking about me? Are they missing me? Are they living their best life? You know, do they still want to connect with you? You and this person may not be currently in contact. Now, for some of you, I feel like your person could be you know, starting like a business or a new project of some sort. Um, some of them could be like buying a home or just kind of, you know, really focus on like their overall sense of security, their financial future. Some of them could be going back to school. It, it just feels like something, something's kind of happening, shifting, changing in this person's life. But also when we're looking at Ace of Pentacles as their energy towards you, it can be a fresh start, a clean slate for the two of you. Yeah, this is about like starting over, starting from scratch for some of you. Now, I do feel like some of you actually could live at a distance from this person. I have Cancer energy strongly here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sorry about that. You guys know I do have young children. But I feel like for some of you, this person actually could live at a distance. And there is like a lot of thought and a lot of consideration about like the future and like, you know, movement and what that would mean. This person does see so much potential in this connection with you and what's between you. It's like there is this excitement. Like when you and this person actually are together, there's this playful, fun, you know, passionate, exciting type of energy. But it's like you're both in your head and kind of wondering like, but is it going to go somewhere? Like will these obstacles, you know, will you be able to find solutions? Will this person make genuine effort? Are they ready? You know, will this come back together? Somebody also could feel like uh, somehow constricted. Like I basically can't leave or I can't move or I can't, I can't come towards you feeling trapped in some way. Because again, there's like the emphasis on like travel. So let us see, how does your person think about you? What does your person, what is Capricorn's person, what are they thinking about you? What are they thinking about you? Leo energy here. Well, I think that this person kind of thinks of you. Well, first of all, the sun is the happiest card. So there can be like this very bright, very cheerful, like optimistic type of um, thing that we can see with this. But also with that six of wands, like you might be someone who's always trying to encourage something positive. Like this person can come to you and say, well, I can't because... And you're like, well, of course you can. Maybe you should just try this. Or you always have some kind of solution or some kind of, you know, optimistic outlook on something hopeful. And... I mean, that can be really nice, you know. Um, this person can also think about you as someone very accomplished, you know, very well respected, very successful. You know, whatever you set your mind, you know, to, you seem to be able to create it, to manifest it, to achieve that. And the interesting, I don't know why I'm getting like, you're very confident in like who you are as a person. Like, you don't have any doubt in, like, who you are. You're not afraid to just be yourself. But again, there's just something here about, like, waiting for something. And, like, you're waiting to see, like, what this person's going to do. And this person is, like, wanting to start things up with you again. Can I ask a little bit more about what's going on for your person? What is going on for your person? 
they're kind of in this like I don't really know how to move forward type of energy with their life cancer Pisces energy with that moon they may have some concerns when it comes like money and overall security even if they look really good and really successful and really accomplished like this may be someone who definitely has some you know stresses or worries when it comes to you know their overall security I don't know why I'm getting something about somebody starting a business and they're acting, they're telling people they're really confident in it, but they actually may have a lot of fears. Okay, what are they feeling towards you? Okay, I am getting a, a cards like want to stop and then go back, which is usually my indication that someone's being stubborn or they want to say something, but they're holding themselves back. And I do see the Seven of Swords here with the King of Wands. Under the deck is Confusion. Okay, seven of Cups. Feeling a bit, you know, overwhelmed. I do feel like this person does watch you. Because again, it's like they see your accomplishments. You may not see that, you may not know that, but they do. They see your accomplishments. They know how hard you're working. Some of you too, I feel like when you reconnect with this person, they're going to say things that you haven't told them yet and I'm grinning as I'm saying this because I know like you know obviously having someone spy on you or something is you know it's uncomfortable but at the same time it's kind of like I had a feeling I, I knew it I never said that to you where did, where did you hear that from and they have to like admit that they were watching you this whole time um, yeah I feel like this person is very protective of you, that King of Wands energy, very physically attracted to you, you know, definitely see that there. But with that Seven of Cups, they're feeling really confused. Like they may not know the best approach here to come towards you. I just really think this person has some kind of fear because they may feel that you have choices or that you have options. And that doesn't mean that you're seeing someone else, okay? King of Wands, Queen of Wands. They feel like you're supposed to be together. Like you're a match or you're soulmates or something. But it's like they may feel that maybe you have other people who are interested in you. Like you could have your choice of anyone that you want. And that makes them like crazy jealous. Okay, so what are their intentions with you? What is Capricorn's person's intentions? Okay. Two of Pentacles with the devil. Under the deck is five of swords with the star and the king of Pentacles. I feel like this person can't really stay away from you, but I still feel like this person doesn't really know exactly how to offer you something. They want a fresh start. They want a clean slate. For some of you, you might feel like maybe this person struggles with addictions, but they're obsessed. They cannot stay away from you. Like even like for some of you, I get like this person's like, oh, I'm over this. I'm done. I'm moving on. And they've watched you since like day one, like every day. That's what I feel like. This person's like obsessed looking back at the past and they still want to reconnect with you. Very like possessive, very jealous. They want to offer you something, but they don't know how. For some of you, they are hiding an addiction of some sort. We talk about addictions. Addictions can be many things, you know, maybe substances, alcohol, gambling, you know, shopping, uh, negative behaviors, toxic friends, family, working. Some, some people could definitely be like a workaholic. But I feel like this person is it has concerns when it comes to money, but they do. They want to clean slate with you. They want to start over. They want to offer something to you. They just don't know how to do that. They don't know how to approach you. They haven't. They haven't figured that out. But they can't stop watching. Some of you, they're looking for like sudden um, news or messages, even subliminal messages. Like if you post something that maybe the only the two of you know or something. Let's do a message from your person and see what this person wants to say to you. Okay. The karmic is obsessed and copies your style. Now when we talk about karmic, karmic doesn't necessarily always mean person. Karmic is a lesson. Good, bad, ugly, sometimes incredible. Karmic um, obstacles and people can come into our life to teach us many things. Sometimes for the good. 
Um, but sometimes karmics can be people, and it does feel like there could be a person here who's been kind of jealous of you. And they may be aware that this person still watches you, and like, that's why they're copying your style. I don't want to hide our relationship. So I mean, this could have started as like a friends with benefits type of thing. Would you still love me if you knew the truth? I think part of that is with their um, addiction. But again, I am obsessed with you. Oh, like I said, this person is obsessed with you. My chest pressed against yours. Yeah, this person's having a lot of like, intimate thoughts towards you, physical thoughts. Replaying the last time I saw you in my mind. I'm ready to confess my feelings. He or she was just a distraction. So for some of you, in your time apart, this person may have tried to move on, or maybe you did. But, again, they're obsessed with you. They want to be with you. They don't want to be with someone else. You have every right to be upset with me. I Google searched your name to learn more about you. Like I said, this person, what did I say? This person has been watching you. Take me home to meet your family. Romantic getaway. Some of you, they want to, like, travel and, like, go see family with you. Like, go see your family, their family. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. This one. I worry my toxic habits will bring you down. It's like said, some of you, this person definitely could struggle with some type of addiction. But, yeah, this person, they want to they wanna have a getaway with you. They want to go meet the family. They are worried about their addictions and how that could affect you. But this person is absolutely obsessed with you. So that's what I have for y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.